let's get the news about the travel where you are this morning. Good morning. Now, your daybreak news headlines here in Scotland. Elgin man Nat Fraser will return to court today as a hearing continues into whether he should face a murder retrial. The 52-year-old's conviction for having wife Arlene killed in 1998 was overturned last month by the Supreme Court. He's always maintained his innocence, but appeal court judges are now deciding if the case should be tried again. Plans to crack down on sectarian hatred will be published by the Scottish Government later. The bill is expected to include new offences relating to internet threats and behaviour around football grounds. Ministers want the laws in place before the start of the new season, but critics say they shouldn't be rushed. The Scottish economy is showing signs of recovery. Lloyd's TSB Scotland says 33% of firms reported an increase in turnover during a three-month period. However, experts are warning that the economy is still fragile because of low consumer spending. And a deaf couple have come to the end of an epic tandem fundraising ride. Bob Nolan, who is also partially blind, cycled 1,000 miles with his wife Louise to raise money for the Field of Dreams project. So far, they've raised over £7,000 which will help build a new deaf and blind centre in Lenzi. Travel news now and passengers flying out of Edinburgh and Glasgow airports with Air France are being advised to check with their airline as delays are possible due to strike action in France. Meanwhile, on the roads, there are no major problems to report. And time now for a look at Friday's weather forecast. Be ready for all changing light conditions. Here's the local weather forecast in association with Transitions Adaptive Lenses. Well, the West can expect a mixture of sunshine and showers. The East will remain dry for a time before those showers move in, with highs of 17 degrees. That's all from me for now. I'll hand you back to Kate and Adrian in London, and do enjoy your morning. Bye-bye.